Hi, welcome back to Meet Me Israel. Today we are heading over to the town of Nimrod. It's the highest Jewish settlement in Israel. It was established as an army outpost in 1982, but then in 1999 it became a civilian town. I wonder how many families live there. I heard just six. Six? That's it? Mm-hmm. We have to go check it out. Let's go! On the way to Nimrod, we pass through Masadeh, which is one of the four Druze communities, together with Masjil Shams, Ain Kenya, and Bukata, located in the northern Golan Heights. There's a population of about 3,800. Masadeh is close to Lake Ram and the Odom Forest. We continued through Masadeh in the direction of Nimrod. Before we entered Nimrod, we noticed to the left was an incredible view, so we pulled over to get a better look. When we got out, there were two gentlemen who also stopped to see the view. They were coming with a group of people to learn about the area, so they arrived earlier to prepare for the group. We learned that these guys were veterans who fought during the Yom Kippur War in this exact area of the Golan Heights. They shared some amazing and miraculous stories from that time, as well as some delicious homemade cake that they brought along. Here in Israel, wherever you go, there's always amazing people to meet along the way. When we entered Nimrod, we realized just how tiny this town really is. There's even a basketball court and one bus stop here in this tiny little town. Nimrod is a tiny community settlement in the north of the Golan Heights. This is a very unique settlement mainly because only six families live here. It's named after the well-known 13th century castle, Kelat Nimrod, which is close to the area. This town was established about 35 years ago and has been considered a secular civilian settlement for about 15 years. And the settlement's economy is based mainly on bed and breakfasts and tourist attractions. Hey, so we've made it to Moshav Nimrod. It's beautiful here. It's really, really high up. It's the highest town in Israel. The air is so crisp and clean. It's so quiet. Moshav Nimrod is primarily a place for tourism. There are different styled cabins all throughout the area, and most of them have an incredible view of the northern Golan Heights. Whoever stays in these cabins gets a spectacular view of these mountains. Wow, we. The six families that live here's primary source of income comes from the tourism. They take care of the area and the grounds, and they run the cabins and the bed and breakfasts. Nimrod is very close to Mount Hermon. It's only about 10 minutes away. So lots of people come up and stay in these cabins during the winter season to ski, as well as in the summer season for the beautiful hiking that the area has to offer. There are stores and markets, doctor and dentist offices, and even schools located in the surrounding towns. Nimrod is close to the Israeli town of Neve Ativ and the Druze town of Majdal Shams. Everyone in the area pretty much knows each other and lots of them work together too. Nimrod was just beautiful to see and to walk through. It's great if you want to get away for a day and enjoy the nature. Or who knows, maybe you can move in and become the seventh family in this tiny town. On our way out, we noticed a campsite just outside Nimrod. This is more of a rustic type place with tents and yurts, but the grounds were large and it looked like the area could host a big group or a family weekend or even a school trip. And if you're in the area, be sure to check out Nimrod's castle. It's about 10 minutes from this town and it's lying at the foot of Mount Hermon. It's the largest castle remaining in Israel from the Middle Ages. You can even hike up there and have a great tour. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.